on, yeah. Never feel bad, feel bad, come on, yeah. When I never feel bad, feel bad, come on, yeah. You, you gotta get up. Learning objectives. For this one, obviously, you need to pay attention to the top two, which are marked section one. How can it be offensive if it's true? Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Tone aside, historically, you guys have struggled to adapt. Yeah, right. Walking upright, discovering fire, inventing the wheel, laying the foundation for all mankind. You're right. Good point. Sorry we couldn't get that to you sooner. Connie, your reaction? Sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the rock. Hunting and gathering societies were egalitarian, which means everybody relied on everybody else to survive. Therefore, due to that dependency, everybody was treated roughly the same. Everybody had the same because whatever you had, I could make. Today, size is adjusted to show wealth. You can see where the wealth is concentrated and where it's not. We're going to learn in this class how things got that way. And to do so, that's world history. Prehistory just means any time before man knew how to write. So to find out we have archaeology, anthropology, and paleontology. Paleontology isn't actually in the book, but I put it in there so you could listen to this song from They Might Be Giants. Aren't you glad you got to see that? There are limits to the various different types of dating. Radiocarbon dating, uh, that's carbon-14. The amount of decay can only go back about 50,000 years. Thermoluminescence has to do with light and heat. Thermo, lumo, you got it. Um, you can see that there are still limitations. DNA, we can trace where people came from. Here is a map, that's the whole world kind of on its side. You can see man's origins there in, in uh, Africa and how it spread from there. on prehistory and early man constantly change as new evidence comes to light. Lewis Leakey he's kind of a uh, famous paleontologist, but the point is you find something out when something contradicts that new evidence, you continually change your thesis. This is what we used to think things were like. Now we know better. Australopithecines to Homo sapiens. You technically are a Homo sapiens sapien, which means wise, wise human. Our next step was how Homo sapiens sapiens spread around the world. At that time, there were different races of humans existing at the same time, probably the most well-known known as Homo sapien Neanderthal. Paleolithic Old Stone Age, that means that we're using stone as the source of tools. Tools as well as jewelry. Okay, there are things that can be learned there. Of course, it's not all historically accurate. We can also take a look at the hunting, the specialization, men hunting, women gathering, small bands, 20, 30 humans. The hunting and gathering lifestyle could not meet the needs of groups much larger than that. 
in a cave, one of the first most important inventions, fire. Okay, that's also not the most historically accurate either, but creating art. Four, the six traits of civilization. They, of course, will be uh, the examples of the Paleolithic age for each of the six traits that you can. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to find examples for all six because in Paleolithic age, we are pre-civilization. So now that we're done, these are the things that you should know. How do scientists and what methods do they use to uncover early human existence? And what was the nature of human life during this Paleolithic period of time? A little cab quiz on home page needs to be done by the end of the chapter. It is officially assigned now. If you go over to the next tile, you will see the video. If that doesn't work, you can go to the FlowCab website itself. Two tiles over, you will find your FlowCab review quiz, 10 questions that you need to have done. We'll discuss those before we take our uh, final assessment. Yeah.